Well, all right, it's uh, Thursday, April 13th, and it is now full-fledged spring here in Upper Michigan. Very nice weather. Uh, long story short, it's ready for calf hutches. It, it, it's ready for me. Uh, I, I tend to wait till it's just a little bit warmer. Um, no harm, no foul. Uh, I've got uh, 12 calves here outside. Uh, the first six here are about a week old. The other six are about two days old. I picked them up this morning. Everything's going good so far. Um, they're all drinking pretty good. Uh, I start them out on bottles. And uh, after they get to drinking, I do put them on pails for convenience. But they do start on bottles, especially for that uh, saliva. Very important that a calf gets its saliva. <clears throat> it helps with uh, a lot of stomach issues and whatnot. Uh, they're looking pretty good. Got some good calves here, real good calves. Maybe someday I'll take some videos or show where I'm getting them. Um, right now I just don't care to do that. This little guy here, starting to grow but I don't think he was 60 pounds when I got him he was born two month two weeks premature actually I, I bet you more about like three weeks uh, I did my good deed for the day last week when I picked him up I'm not really in the business of uh, taking on a small animal like this because as far as I'm concerned he's not really gonna grow to be much but I know where he's going if I didn't take him, so I did my good deed for the day. He's drinking good, he's getting along. You can see some of these guys are a little agitated. Uh, I just put the tags on them <clears throat> for identification. I usually wait about a week before I do that. This guy's only about two days old. This guy's about three days old. These were picked up this morning. I picked up six of them. This guy as well. You can tell they're starting to get hungry. Feeding time is in about another hour, hour and 20 minutes. I'm pretty strict about the feeding times. Good looking calves. This guy's an absolute brute. He is no more than 36 hours old. And uh, you can actually still tell on the back, he's still kind of wet. Um, he's got to go all of 100, 105 pounds. In fact, I dare say 110, maybe even better. <clears throat> some good calves. He's got some front hoof, hoof problems, which is kind of common. It usually corrects itself, hopefully. If it doesn't in another few days or better, I'm going to have to do something. Uh, this is the calf hutch yard. Uh, this is two years in the making. Now remember, I've been working a, basically a full-time job here as well, away from home. So, yeah, this is a 42 hutch yard. Uh, I got the light plant up and everything. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to take my time I did not buy any of these brand new, brand new pricing anyway. As you can tell, some of these hutches are new. Like these, for instance, are the Caftel Deluxe Twos. They were used one year. A uh, local farmer by me, he uh, changed things up, put up a big, uh, big covered barn instead for all of his calves. So uh, I was very fortunate to be able to buy his basically brand new hutches at a reduced rate. I bought another couple dozen of them out of Wisconsin, just over the border, like 65, 70 miles from me, uh, at a very good rate as well. So I'm very happy. Got a little setup here, a bungee cord so they don't uh, jump out of that square that's been cut out. That square's cut out so I can put a water pail off the side. 
very important that they, they have a fresh helping of water. They're not going to touch the water the first two weeks or maybe even three weeks. After that, it, it's, uh, it's amazing what the little calves will take in. So. And all the little heifers are happy. They're outside now. It's got to be 60, 65 degrees. This kind of weather keeps up with the sun and we'll be hitting the fields here in about realistically two weeks for us. There's some people that are already hitting the fields. We don't have 400 horsepower tractors and this farm never will. <clears throat> I dare say never, but I, I, I don't see it. But uh, yeah, we're good two to three weeks for us to hit the fields. Last week, and I meant to take a video, I failed in doing so, I was very busy. Uh, I weaned off my first batch of calves from in the barn that were raised this winter. <coughs> Here's a group of 10. They've got plenty of room. They get a little bit bigger and I gotta take a couple out of here, otherwise it gets messy in here real, real quick. But, uh, Here's a group of 10. They're doing real good. Real good, they're comfortable. We try to keep them clean and dry as best as we can. These super hutches are working out really good. I really like these. Then with these feeders. These are SI feeders out of Wisconsin. Uh, the price tag is ridiculous, but there's nothing better as far as I'm concerned with the setup that we have. It works. The feeders are strictly reserved for uh, hay until they're old enough. I'll throw a tub of corn silage in there, let them nibble on it. And there's a 10 foot bunk in there as well, a little plastic deal. That's where they get their grain, their grains poured in there. I leave them on country calf startina for the first uh, four feedings when they get weaned off because you know these calves kind of go through hell. <clears throat> you go through a major, I'll call it a withdrawal. I leave them on that country calf for about four days and then they're put on 18% uh, uh, dairy grain. Each one of these super hutch pens has a uh, two by four water tank. Um, this is all ready to be, ready to be cleaned. I'm a little embarrassed in that. It's a lot cleaner than that <clears throat> normally. Uh, I got a good row of these. As you can see, I got a load of round bales in the back. I got to deliver round bales tonight after chores. This is the time people are running out of their bales and we've got some to spare, so that comes in nice. And I've got one more, one more pen of super hutches I'm gonna be putting up, which will be five pens worth, so that's 50 calves worth. I should be able to get all my rotations in with the 50. I got to get a load of uh, this uh, 22A road gravel, get this all graveled, probably even take some of this out of here, it's going to get soupy. This is kind of like at the bottom of a, I dare say, a, a hill coming down. Uh, that's a project for when restrictions come off, road restrictions, they're still on up here. Frost is still coming out of the ground, things are messy. I don't know if you can hear that wind, if you can, sorry. A little bit breezy today. I gotta clean some of these hutches up here, super hutches. I use these to store my steers that I uh, shipped off to sale last week uh, for convenience. Took them out of the steer yard, uh, put them in here. This is where they were vaccinated. And uh, they were in here for a uh, little bit better of a more convenient day loading. Every one of these has got a six foot gate. So that's about it. Full fledged springtime here. Uh, 
calves and hutches bellering. Good sound. I know it's going to be summer. Alright, time to go.